Now, Dwayne Casey has just come out and said that Killian Hayes will start at the point guard position for the Detroit Pistons. And I've had a few people ask about what I think the starting lineup will look like. So I thought I'd talk about the potential of Hayes at the point guard position and then the potential of the starting five and then the rotations, the bench. Now let's start with Hayes. That's the right move. He's played professionally. He's not a complete project player. He's got the arsenal. He's got the moves. He's got the NBA ready body. Given he's six foot five, he doesn't have a light frame either. Like he's a solid build. He could probably still put on a little bit more mass. I expect him to do so. If he wants to be more of a bully getting to the rim and whatnot, but at the moment, he's got the kind of body, he's got the frame, and he's got the experience. Starting Killian Hayes at the one just seems like the right move to make. Derrick Rose is going to be the mentor, and he's going to be the sixth man off the bench. He's one of the best sixth men in the league, so it's not a bad thing for D-Rose. At this point in his career, he's had a lot of injury concerns. I think he's more concerned about staying healthy than playing a starting position or playing 40 minutes a game. He knows what he has to do to keep his body healthy and keeping his minutes at around 30 a game is more important. So that's probably going to be the two-man rotation at the point guard position. Look, at this point, I might be leading towards DeLon right at the two. I changed my mind from 10 minutes ago where I thought it could have been Josh Jackson's Fima Kyluk. But I think what DeLon Wright does is you've got Hayes. You need a bit more playmaking there because you don't want to put all the pressure on him. I know Blake Griffin's a great playmaker, but that's probably it when you're going to have Plumley, who's a solid playmaker as well. But you're going to have Plumley, Okafor, one of those guys at the center spot. And then at the small forward, you're going to have Jeremy Grant, who might develop into that. But at the moment, he's not. So to put all that playmaking pressure and all that ball handling pressure onto someone like Killian Hayes, I think having DeLon Wright, who not only takes pressure off him in terms of the playmaking sense, but also another thing he does is he's a good defensive guard and he's going to get after it. He's been under Coach Casey. Casey definitely likes him. And another thing that you have to keep in mind is DeLon Wright has talked about how he wanted to come to Detroit. There must be a reason there. He must have had some kind of conversations where they've talked about getting him significant game time, whether that means coming off the bench or starting at the two, like I might predict, is yet to be seen. But this spot is just completely up in the air. I wouldn't be surprised if it's Jackson. I really like Sfi Mikhailuk. Like, I'd like to see him start at the two, but I don't know if that's going to happen. You've even got Wayne Ellington who came into the mix as more of a shooter. Like, there's a number of good players at that two-guard position that we could see play. More versatility. We've got Jackson who can play the three. Sfi's played the three before. Delon Wright can play positions one through three. Like, there's just so much positional versatility in this team that I wouldn't be surprised with any lineup that comes out. But yeah, I'm going to start with DeLon Wright. I know it's a bit left field. People wouldn't expect that. But I think for all the reasons I've mentioned, remember when he got good game time in Memphis, he was putting up like 12 and 5 a game to go along with good defense. And he was emerging as someone that looked like a real bright spot, although he's 28 now and he's not a young player. He was emerging as someone that looked like he could take his game to the next level. And I think he's shown more in his NBA career than the other two players mentioned. And for that reason, I'm going to give him that starting spot because I think he helps out Killian Hayes more than the other two players. And I think Hayes is the guy that you have to worry about. He's the guy. He's the focus of the franchise. So you need to put someone on the court that puts him in the best place to succeed. And I think Wright is that kind of person. At the three, it's Grant. Pretty self-explanatory. Great 3 and D guy. I don't think too much needs to be said about him. He's going to get more opportunity. I could see him averaging around 15 points a game on good defense, doing all those kind of things. I could see him improving his playmaking as well. Another thing to keep in mind is... Can he be the next Pascal Siakam? He's got the length. He's got the athleticism. He's got the defensive ability. He's got the versatility. He can shoot the three ball. He doesn't have the arsenal of moves getting to the rim yet. He does use his length to get to the rim. He's pretty crafty at finishing at the rim. And Pascal Siakam is around the same age as Jeremy Grant. That's another thing to keep in mind. Now at the three behind Grant, it has to be Sadiq Bey. Keep in mind, Sekou is actually younger than Bey. I know Bay just got drafted, but Seku's a younger player. Seku will probably be the reserve four, which I would be predicting. But at the three, it's got to be Bay. Could we even see him at the shooting guard spot? Potentially. Could we see Grant at the two and Bay at the three? Maybe. Blake Griffin has had huge wraps on this guy. He's ready to play now. He's at the very least going to come off the bench and give you 20 minutes a night. But if he came into the starting lineup and gave you 30 minutes a night, I wouldn't be surprised given his shooting, given everything he does. Wouldn't be surprised to see him in the starting lineup, but at the moment, I've got him the first man off the bench at the three-guard position. Another no-brainer that we have to talk about. Blake Griffin at the four. What else needs to be said? Best player on the team. If he's healthy, which he looks to be healthy from everything I've heard and everything I've seen, then he's going to start at the four. Adds playmaking, shooting, experience, just overall great player. And if he stays healthy, this team is a completely different team. If he stays healthy, 
this team is good. If he doesn't, it's going to be a tough year because he's someone that can really just make everyone around him so much better, given his playmaking and given everything he does. No-brainer at the four, he's going to start. And then at the four... We'd love to see Seiku. I expect us to see Seiku. We've got the possibility of Isaiah Stewart coming off the bench. Maybe they push Bay to a backup four and then have Jackson come off the bench as a three and leave Mikhailu as the reserve shooting guard or DeLon Wright. Either one, whoever they pick. There's so many different options, and that's why I think this Detroit team is so interesting this year. Are they going to be a title contender? No. Are they a playoff contender? I think they are. I think people thinking they're going to be terrible. It all hinges on the shoulders of Blake Griffin. Don't get me wrong. If he gets injured, if he gets injured, they're going to struggle. But if he stays healthy, there's enough talent on this team to at least compete for a playoff spot. I don't think there's anything wrong with doing that, although next year's draft is stacked. There is quite a bit of talent on this roster that you just need to groom and get in winning experience and get in a nice winning culture. And I think that's what the Pistons are going to do. And then at the five is another interesting spot. Another one which is up for grabs. I kind of like Jaleel Okafor here. You know he's 24. Okafor is only 24 years of age. He's still a young guy. And he played two games where he played over 30 minutes last year for the Pelicans. You want to hear the numbers he put up? 25 and 5 and 25 and 14. It's that kind of ceiling that someone like Mason Plumley doesn't have. And Isaiah Stewart might not be ready. One of the youngest prospects in the draft. So... Why not go for Okafor? Why not give him a chance to prove himself? I think he's got more upside than Plumlee. I know he's got more upside than Plumlee. I know they paid Plumlee, which would hint at him being the starter, but I don't know if that's the case yet. Look, I would make an argument for Plumlee. He's better defensively. He's got an existing relationship with Jeremy Grant. He's a better playmaker. He's a bit more of a well-rounded center, so that's probably why they're going to start with Plumlee, and I'm not opposed to that. I just think Okafor given the chance, could maybe blossom into something. When he's had the opportunity, which has been limited, he's done pretty well with it. And I'd expect nothing less if he gets an opportunity in Detroit. But at the moment, I think he'd be coming off the bench. And then you have Isaiah Stewart. Between Isaiah Stewart and Okafor, it's hard to tell. I think at the moment it'll be Okafor. Isaiah Stewart will probably ease into it. Although he's a big body, he's still young. He's still undersized. He could play some four. He could play some five. I'd like to see him start from the get-go. I'd also like to see him be the first man off the bench. I don't know if that's going to happen yet because you've brought in two guys in Okafor and Plumlee with clearly a desire to play them. So I imagine that will happen while Isaiah Stewart develops. That's my starting lineup. I'll just run through it again. Hayes, DeLon Wright, Jeremy Grant, Blake Griffin, and then Mason Plumlee. That will be my starting five. Then coming off the bench, D-Rose, obviously, Svi Mikhailuk, and Josh Jackson, Sadiq Bey at the three, Seku slash Stewart at the four, and then Stewart slash Okafor at the five. I think that's a really good lineup. You've even got guys like Ellington, who could be the third man off the shooting guard bench, which is pretty solid for someone who was starting for Detroit only a year ago. It shows that this team is not in a bad spot, considering he was starting for a team that made the playoffs that year. So keep that in mind when talking about Detroit as a team that has no chance of making the playoffs. Wayne Ellington was someone that was on that team, starting for that team when they made the playoffs, and now he might be the third best option at the shooting guard position, the fourth best option. So this team has progressed, and I think this is my starting lineup. Probably the only surprising one there is DeLon Wright, but I think the main premise of that is just everything he does helps Killian Hayes, and that should be the goal of the organization. That's why they're keeping D-Rose, so why not start DeLon Wright? Casey also likes him. They've got experience there. He's a defensive guard. He can play make. He can do a number of things. I'm excited to see DeLon Wright with a new opportunity because I really rate the guy, and I rate a lot of these guys coming off the bench, so it's not an easy selection, but that's my pick, and that's my starting lineup. If you did enjoy the video, like would be greatly appreciated. Also subbing to the channel, as I said, this will probably be my last Detroit video for at least a few weeks. Got to make more content, got to make it about different teams. But until then, I'll catch you next time. Bye.